Well guys, beautiful day to get some stuff done. Y'all, it is so nice out today. So happy to have the warm weather back and also some blue sky, man. I love days like today. So today we are back with the PT Cruiser Touring. We got some TLC to give this thing today. We got a lot of things to check over and things to do. Primary things that we're actually going to be accomplishing in this video is new front brake pads and also an oil change. Pretty simple stuff. The front brake pads are very, very low and they're making the squeaky noise of death. So that means that they are right down on the limiter. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap those pads out today and check everything over. We've noticed a lot of weird noises coming from the suspension. Notice there's a lot of clunking going on in the rear, but I know already that that is definitely the Watts link and the lateral arms that need to be replaced. I did that in a video a long time ago, but the Watts link basically is like a little wishbone looking thing back here. Not uncommon for those to start clunking and going bad in the older PTs. So probably gonna swap that out in the near future. And also the front end is making some weird noises and I can't tell if it's simply the sway bar end links, maybe just the sway bar end links need to be tightened or replaced. I know it already has new front wheel bearings and I also replaced all the tie rod ends. So those two should be good, but we're gonna check everything over today really quick and just give this thing some TLC. So just be sure and stay tuned because this is gonna be a fun one. I can see there's a lot of life left in these pads, but in the rear, it doesn't look like there's barely as much. So it's starting to make me wonder, maybe these calipers got a little stuck after a while. Yeah, that's, that's pretty bad. <laughs> As you can see, this caliper, like, it's not going anywhere. So hopefully that comes out okay. We can get everything greased up and it won't be too much of a pain, but it happens. This one feels really good though, but we're gonna grease everything up. Well guys, seized pin number one has been removed. Filmed the process on the other side, but I didn't even film the process because I didn't even know what it was gonna entail. Basically what I did was I got the torch leaned on the wrench here like this and it was pointing like perfectly right here. And I was able to just leave it there and let it just keep heating up for like, I don't even know how long, probably five minutes. I would guess that the torch was on that. And then I got a pair of vice grips on the pin, wiggled it loose and uh, here we are. Jesus. <laughs> that was lit. Pressure got so built up in there, just went poof. <laughs> I got to play with fire at least. All right, I flushed it out really good with brake fluid already and I looked in there with a the light, everything looks clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and grease up this new pin. I already installed the new pin up top. So I'm gonna go ahead and grease this up, throw this in and then we'll just go ahead and throw the pads in. So fast forward, finishing up the other side and cleaning up the mess a little bit and we're good to go. Got the new pads all installed in here. I got the new pins in and greased up. Thankfully, they came out pretty easily with a lot of heat and the holes look pretty clean. I was able to flush them out with some brake fluid. Not brake fluid, brake parts cleaner. I can't talk today. <laughs> I flushed out the pinholes with brake parts cleaner really good. I inspected them, made sure everything was cleaned out. So we should be good to go now that we got some decent grease on them. So the brake job is finished and I'm very happy that that's done. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the oil change really quick, get that done. Then we can get the car cleaned up. People all across the internet love to debate on what brand of oil is the best. And honestly, I do not care. I like trying different brands of oil in my different cars. What I ran last time around in this car and what I'm gonna be running again this time is Casserole GTX High Mileage. It's a synthetic blend, so it's not full synthetic. I used to run conventional in this car, but the PTs, they highly recommend that you run a synthetic. So I've just been doing a blend these last few times. Maybe I'll switch over to full synthetic in the future. I don't know, but I've been using this and just a brand that I'm not super familiar with, just testing it out. I'm using the high mileage to help out with any like carbon buildup and, and sludge and anything like that. I don't know how much it does for the car, but it's worth a shot. So this is what I've been using and that's what I'm gonna be throwing in the car today as well as, yes, it is a mobile one filter. Sounds good. So 
So while I'm waiting for the oil to drain, I decided to look over some of the suspension stuff because we do notice a lot of weird clunking and just, just some random noises up front that I know are suspension related. And the only things I replaced on this car is I replaced the tie rods and I replaced one sway bar end link, which I believe was this one a while back now. So I decided to check everything. The ball joints, I tried to get the ball joints to play and I couldn't find any play in them at all. Ball joints still seem pretty solid. So I was super worried about that, although they don't look to be in the best condition. As you can hopefully see on this side, when I pry on it, I get absolutely no vertical movement. And I checked it before with the wheel on for any horizontal movement and I couldn't get anything to play when I had the wheel on like that. Ball joints both seem to be okay, even though they don't look in the best of shape, but I did make a couple discoveries. The main one is this bushing here in the lower control arm. If you look when I pry on it in all directions, this one isn't as bad as the other side, but it's got a decent amount of play in it. If you guys look when I pry on it, that is not okay. That is a ton of play and a ton of movement in that. Again, I don't know how well it's gonna show up on camera, but that's a lot of play. So I think it is due time for mom to get some new control arms for this thing there. Not in the best of shape. And again, the ball joints aren't bad yet. That, I'm not okay with that. And it's probably just time that they get replaced. Maybe we'll throw a new sway bar on it too and get new links. And like I said, new tie rods. The CV axles seem to be in fine shape. I don't we didn't notice any weird play or any leaks in the boots. So the rest of the stuff is looking good. I do know for a fact though the Watts link in the back, <laughs> you can hear that. That's. That's clunking like crazy back there, and that needs to be replaced badly as well. Not quite as worried about the watts link, but that is still really annoying. So it looks like we are on the right track as far as that's concerned. Probably gonna be seeing this thing getting some new control arms in a video very soon. Right, with everything bolted back together, the wheels back on, and the oil change finished, we are now good to go as far as that segment of the video is concerned. Mechanically, the car is looking pretty good other than the few suspension bits that really need to be taken care of, especially that control arm. That is pretty bad. Before we move on to the detailing part of this video, I think it's only fair that we take the car out for a quick little spin. I haven't driven it in a really long time, so I'm curious to see if that suspension is making the car feel any different. Yeah, I definitely feel a little bit of almost play in the suspension, and that would make a lot of sense. I feel a tiny bit of vibration once I get up to speed too, but it's nothing too bad. And you guys can hear for yourself, it's clunking a lot. <laughs> so I think that is definitely all a result of that control arm and maybe that sway bar too. I'm probably gonna start out by just getting brand new sway bar links for it that are decent, and then we'll kind of go from there. This car cruises so well though. It's such a nice car to just kind of, just go cruising it. It's a PT Cruiser after all, I guess. Oh yeah, and by the way, the brakes feel really good too. So that's that's always a good sign right after you replace your brakes, right? Well anyways guys, now that that is done, we are gonna go ahead and work on getting this thing cleaned up. The detailing part of this video is brought to you guys by somebody very, very special. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip to that segment of the video that I filmed a little while ago. Something really cool, and then we're gonna go ahead and move on and get this thing cleaned up to finish up the video. If any of you have been around the channel for a long time, you might recall I made a video a long time ago talking about Turtle Wax's wax and dry spray wax. So like when the car's still wet, after you wash it, you spray it on, dry it. I did a little video testing it out. It was super cringy and it wasn't very long. Far from the best video I've ever made, that's for sure. It was a long time ago, like I said, but despite that, the video got quite a few views for my channel at least. And not long ago, Turtle Wax actually sent me an email. One of the representatives was like, hey, we want to use your video on our website and part of a new page they're doing. I'm not exactly sure what's going on there, but I was like, Pfft. Absolutely, go for it. Do whatever you want with the video. Of course, I was honored. Said they wanted to send me out a cool little bucket of some of their newer products as a thank you. I'm like, well, geez, of course. That's really cool, you know? And then out of nowhere today, this box shows up. So I guess we better see what's inside. It's literally a bucket. Ooh. Oh, snow foam wash. Heck yeah, I've been just talking about getting some of that. Oh, of course we got the wax and dry. That's awesome. Oh, this is the carpet shampoo that I use as well. This is a new product. Spray and wipe interior detailer. So they're wipes for your interior. That's really handy for anything quick. What is this? Oh, we got a little bit of like a rubbing compound. Scratch, repair, and renew. Cephalining platelets. Permanently remove light 
to heavy scratches. Dude, that's cool. So like little touch up kind of stuff. New product too, it's an odor eliminator. I've always been curious to try one of these and see how well they work. Oh, no way. Those are swag. Oh goodness. Figured out what the little package was. It's a little blow up turtle. Isn't it cute? These are all products that I'm going to be using all the time, especially the sunglasses though. So again, a huge shout out to Turtle Wax. Thank you so much for sending this out. I'm really honored to have the video on the site. And shout out to them for making this video possible. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Well, that was a cool little surprise, wasn't it? These sunglasses are the bomb. The problem is I can't see out of them right now between my glasses being off and it being like kind of getting dark out. <laughs> anyways, guys, I got my hood up and my hat on because it's kind of chilly out tonight, but we are still going to be getting this thing kind of cleaned up. It's been a while since this car had a nice deep cleaning. By far my favorite car wash soap I've ever used. I use it in my bucket of soap as well. As you can see, I already got it all mixed up right here. I should probably get a new snow foam cannon. This one has definitely seen some better days. Special message to the guys over at Turtle Wax. If you're watching this, you're really using this snow foam cannon. If you guys have one, I'd be super excited to review one. But nevertheless, let me know what you guys recommend down in the comments for the snow foam cannons because I really do need to upgrade soon. Anyways, that being said, without further ado, let's get this car looking great again. Right, guys finished up and all clean just in time for it to start sprinkling out <laughs> but i finished up with turtle wax this awesome wax and dry spray wax if you guys know me you've been around the channel for a while you know that i absolutely love that stuff it's such an easy way to dry the car it works great as a drying aid and it also offers insanely good protection by far the best spray wax i've ever used so even if the car is coated like for example that car is coated with flitz's sealant already and again if you guys haven't checked out flitz's sealant link in the description and all, and all info on how you can get yourself some money off there that stuff is insanely awesome it's been on the car for a really long time and it's still is holding up but i still use the wax and dry spray wax as a drying aid and just to continue to kind of protect the protection i guess and that works so good highly recommend it to you guys but anyways i guess that's going to go ahead and conclude this video we got the car cleaned up and we got the brakes replaced we got everything gone over we know what we need to do now we have some suspension bits we need to replace so hit that thumbs up button if you are excited and you want to see that in a video very soon as well pretty sure the next video you guys will see will be the continuation of the body rest restoration of the PTGT. This is its good side, but the other side looks like crap and we're going to be continuing to do some work on that. Some some actual meat with some painting and some actual body work in it is coming up. It's going to be really cool, so be sure and stay tuned for that. Smash the subscribe button if you haven't already and hit the notification bell if you haven't already because we got a lot more coming your way very soon. And again, guys, thank you so much for watching this quick little channel CG video. You rock. God bless you guys and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.